In this video, the learner will reflect a figure across a line of reflection and write the algebraic rule for each reflection. So first let's talk about what reflections are. A reflection maps a figure onto another when flipped across a line of reflection. So here's an example of a reflection. Here is the line of reflection. We'll let this figure on the left be the pre-image and the figure on the right be the image. Notice each pre-image and image point are connected with these dotted segments. Notice that each one of those dotted segments is perpendicular to the line of reflection. That will always be true. So therefore, each of these dotted lines are therefore parallel. Now it's also important to notice that the point in the image will always be the same distance away from the line of reflection as its corresponding point in the pre-image. So along this line here, let's call the bottom our pre-image and the top our image. From this point to the line of reflection will be the same distance as our image point to the line of reflection. Those will have the same distance. And that's true for each of these segments. So from the pre-image to the line of reflection, the image to the line of reflection and same for this third set as well. It's important to note that these segments are not vectors. They are just the segments connecting our image to our pre-image. So we're going to reflect this triangle uh, across the x-axis. So here's our x-axis. Our pre-image points for a, b, and c are negative 3, 4, 4, 2, and 3, 7. It's important to remember that the pre-image point will be the same distance away from the line of reflection as the image point. So we can use that to our advantage here to be able to reflect that point over. So looking at point A, we would count to that reflection line. So from A to that line of reflection is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the distance between uh, my pre-image point A and my line of reflection is four units. Therefore, I'm going to count four more units across that line of reflection. And I would end up with this segment here. And where that segment ends will be my image for A. Notice at negative three, negative four. And I'll do the same for B and same for C. And I will get my image B will be at 4, negative 2, and 3, negative 7 will be C prime. I want you guys to try and notice a pattern here and see if you can come up with an algebraic rule to represent this reflection. Here we're going to reflect triangle XYZ across the X axis, so you'll need to record your pre-image and your image points here. I also want you to try and notice a pattern here and see if it's the same pattern that you notice from the previous example. Here we're going to be reflecting triangle X, Y, Z across the Y axis. We're going to use the same principle as before. The distance in, from each pre-image point to the line of reflection is the same as the image point to the line of reflection. So point X is 1, 2 away from the y-axis, so I'm going to count 1, 2 on the other side to have my point at negative 2, positive 4. I'm going to do the same thing with z, 1, 2, 1, 2, to end on negative 2, negative 5. The same with y, I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So therefore, I need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to end on negative 6, positive 2. So here's my triangle reflected across the y-axis. I want you to try and notice a pattern here, write down what you see, and then try to come up with the algebraic rule for a y-axis reflection. I want you to um, reflect triangle ABC across the y-axis. 
record your pre-image and your image points, and then try to write about the pattern and algebraic rule for that reflection. Here our reflection line is the line that has the equation y equals x. So this line here is our reflection line. This is going to work a little bit differently, but it's going to follow the same principle that each of these points is going to be the same perpendicular distance to that line of reflection as its image point will be. So I'm going to use my original pre-image points, R, S, and T. Now I'm going to see here I need the same distance away, but I can't just count to that line like I could before. So what I'm going to do is instead of just counting straight to the line, I'm going to use horizontal and vertical changes to be able to find that new point. So I'm going to see, well, my point S here is 1, 2, 3 away from that line horizontally, and 1, 2, 3 on the other side vertically will give me that new point on the other side that will be the same distance away from that line of reflection. So we can see S prime is now at 2, negative 1. I'm going to do the same method with R. I'm going to count to that line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, vertic horizontally. And now I'm going to do the same thing vertically. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I can see that same distance horizontally and vertically will give me that perpendicular distance across that line. So R prime will be at 6, negative 4. Now I counted horizontally first on both of these, but it actually doesn't matter. You could count vertically first, and I did that for point T. So I counted down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a count across the line of reflection, the same distance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to end at negative 1, negative 6. I want you to see if you can find a pattern with these points, write about what you see, and then find the algebraic rule. I want you to reflect a triangle ABC across the line y equals x. Notice the line y equals x is already plotted for you. Record your image and pre-image points and write about the pattern that you see. I also want you to try this one. Reflect the figure across the line y equals negative x and name the coordinates. So I have triangle TEL here. Your line of reflection is this line that's plotted here, y equals negative x. It's going to follow the same principle as your reflection across the line, y equals positive x, as far as counting across that line. Go ahead and record your pre-image and image points and write about what happens.